Powerhouse Fitness, proud sponsors of UCMMA and Eddie White. My name's Edward White Overton, I'm 53 years of age, independent fighter, fighting out of Putney and Roehampton. My name's Mervyn Poby, 40 years young, star spring chart fist, fighting out of Dreadquarters. I believe the Pobies are a fighting family, uh, but we also are a fighting family. The White Overtons, we've been doing this for hundreds of years. Same old, training as always, staying on top of it, staying good, that's it. I'm fighting tonight, Mervyn Poby. Very strong, good opponent. Um, like the Pobies, yeah, we've been doing this a long, long time. So let's have a good fight. Yeah. Eddie, you're one of the war. We're here to do battle. I'm dropping the bombs. Be ready and let's go. Gentlemen, this next contest will be sponsored by the Daily Sport and is fought for the UC MMA Veterans Welterweight title. The fighter standing in the blue corner. He weighed it at 75.9 kilograms. He is an independent fighter. He is Edgy White Overton. And standing across the cage in the red corner, this fighter weighed in at 77 kilograms. He represents Dread Quarters. He is Mervyn Toby. Your referee in charge of this championship fight is AJ Jeffrey. Toby. Both these guys ready to go to war. Poby fire straight away. They look up. Now this is a veteran's title, Rob, but don't be fooled by their age. These are two absolute warriors. Poby striking. Good knee to the body. Looking to turn Eddie Overton does well. Eddie needs to get his head up. Eddie Overton's got some good strikes, but he needs range to land them. Good work by Poby, good takedown. Murby and Poby in the past, we've seen. He's got a very linear game, he's got a kung fu background, which I think holds him back slightly. When he's under pressure, you know, you revert back to what you, what you originally knew, your foundations. He is limited on the ground, but here, he's looking comfortable. Already looking to get that sweep. He's got one in and one out, gets it. Good work, drives, needs to keep both those legs and drive. Kobe sprawls well. Eddie looking for that big takedown and gets it. Lands in a bad position though, Grant. That's, Kobe in mount. Yeah, and that's one thing I say to judges time and time again, you can't just score a takedown. If you take your opponent down and end up in his mount, you haven't achieved anything. This is a dangerous position for Eddie White Overton here. Kobe trying to find that space to shoot, but Overton doing a good job of just wrapping up the arms. Grant not really allowing him any power into those shots. No, he's tying him up, but he's going through out the back, back door. door. He's going out through the back door. Eddie, you know, Mervyn Kobe can have a leg lock here if he wants it. Eddie looking for his own, but doesn't. No, he's the wrong way up. Nothing there. Both guys in a very odd position, battling it out. 
you know, well, Eddie White there, he could get a straight knee bar. Hey, a big shot from Poby. He should have got his, if he'd got his left hand or his left arm underneath that right leg of Mervyn Poby, he'd have had a good knee bar there. Eddie White there, he's going for the mount himself. Moves to side. He needs to get that left leg un untrapped. Which he's done, and there he's passed. Needs to push that knee through. The knee of Kobe's. Good defence there by Kobe back to half guard. Now, Rob, both these guys are in fantastic shape for their age. Just look at their, the shape they're in. You know, they're ripped to shreds, but as you get older, you, you can't fight father time. Although there's many, many guys, half these people, half these two fighters, as you would have gasped by now with this work rate, let me tell you. Eddie now, top position inside the full guard of Mervyn Poby. And what, you know, what would you recommend here? Eddie White's got great stand up. I think we're seeing tiredness take its toll, Grant. Yeah, and you know, boxing practitioners and other combat sports, I don't know if they really appreciate mixed martial arts for what it is. The conditioning is absolutely on another level. Five minute rounds. I remember when I was boxing, Rob, a three minute round just stood up was enough. But mixed martial arts is something unique. Eddie being driven by the crowd there. He's got a huge support here. Being spurred on. They're stood up. In fact, I didn't notice they're absolutely going nuts around the arena, all on their feet. This is going to be another one of those fights that's uh, different in each of the judges' eyes, I'm sure. Different angles of the cage. A different side of the action. Well, the referee, AJ Jeffrey, looking on closely, he must be debating whether or not to actually stand it up at this point, Grant. Yeah, that's a good call, Rob. I'd be telling them to advance their position. I need to see some progress. Because at the moment, nobody's trying to set up any submissions. It's just these little short shots which aren't going to take the fight to a finish. So you're right, the referee needs to decide whether to stand the fight up so that it can go towards a finish and give the crowd what they want to see, which is two guys stood in the centre of the cage, slugging it out. This round's coming to a finish. And we need to see who's going to recover the most. It started explosively, Grant, but quickly tapered off. Yeah, it was a ferocious beginning to this veterans title fight. I'm just looking at them now. Eddie White over to there, he's blowing. Welterweight title fight, Mervyn Poby versus Eddie White Overton. Eddie with the low kick, Poby with a good front kick there. Yep, Eddie's giving it away a bit there. You see, he looks to where he's going to strike. Exchanging low kicks. Oh, that was nice. That was a good high kick, that one, Grant. Yeah. And we've, we've seen Eddie White Overton win by KO from that high kick in the past. Looks for the spinning back fist. High kick again from Eddie. They clinch high again. And I think there was talk from Mervyn Povey. He said that this will be his last fight. Well, I'm sure he'd want to go out with a win. Exactly. Eddie White looking for the takedown again. Povey with a good knee down the middle there. Both guys roll, transition. Now, you've got a Mervyn, yet. Yeah. Mervyn could be pushing down with his left hand onto Eddie White Overton's face, slipping that elbow in. Just working it across the throat. He's going to pop his head out soon. 
Yeah, his it, arm's going to get tired trying to cling on to that. There we go. If he can posture up here, he can land some strikes. We saw in that first round, Eddie White escaped Mount by elevating his opponent. But here he is, Mervyn Pobey's in Eddie White Overton's guard. Eddie White not seeming to set up a, a reversal. But also not setting up any submissions. Now, as the referee looks on, you've got to wonder, is he going to stand it up? Yeah, are they doing enough, Grant? Well, I'd like to see AJ Jeffrey, our referee. He's done a very solid job this evening, let me tell you that. But you're right, Rob, I'd like to see him saying to them, come on, action, guys, action, let me see you advance your position. I need to see some progress. And do you know a referee can fire up fighters as well? You tell them you want to see some action, and it sparks them into life. The crowd's still going nuts, though. This is a title fight. Could be Mervyn Pobey's last of his career. And he really has been such an entertaining fighter here on UCMMA over the years. He started off in the, through the WCMMA ranks. Fought on our show, born to fight. And here he is, fighting for a title. Eddie White Overton. He's got a bit of a colourful past that we don't need to go into right now. But mixed martial arts, even at the ripe old, uh, ripe old age of 53, <laughs> it's given him something to keep him on the straight and narrow, focus on and something very, very positive in his life. And you know, Rob, sport crosses all the boundaries of race, religion, politics. Inside that cage, none of that really exists. It's just man against man. Everybody is equal. It's a very pure place. Kobe moves into Mount. Eddie reverses, but he's left the arm inside. We could see a triangle choke attempt if Mervyn Pobey pushes the leg over. I don't think he realises Edward, Eddie able to pop his arm free. Yeah, no, they're both very, very resilient. They're both well conditioned for their age. They're in great shape, but their technique on the ground is limited. That's for sure. Mervyn here, you know, he, he's not really setting up any submissions, but he's not slipping a leg down to trap the knee of Eddie White Overton and off-balance him and reverse him. No, this, for me, Grant, would be a good time to stand it up. Well... Last we're, 10 seconds, maybe we're, not. <laughs> <laughs> we're coming to the end of the second round. I'd be very interested to know how you're scoring this so far, Rob. Here we go then, third and final round of our UC MMA veteran welterweight title fight sponsored by Silka Carpets. So here we go. Mervyn Povey, Eddie over oh. on White, Eddie White eats a shot. Throws a big kick, walks straight into a guillotine. Now here we are. Eddie White's dangerous with that kick. <laughs> Hobie, his punches don't seem to have anything in them. Nice Good low kick. kick. There's that guillotine it's again. Mervyn could get his, he wants to get his right arm on the inside. No, he hasn't got it. And he did well to turn out there. Good kick to the body. Mervyn takes a deep breath. Yeah. They're both very, very tired. They both worked so hard for those first two five-minute rounds. That was a great right hand there from Eddie White Overton. Both fighters exhausted, Grant. They're both very, very tired, but look at Eddie White Overton. He wants to come forward. He's still going to fight in that spinning back fist. 
missed by a mile. You can see the tiredness, clearly can, see the tiredness. You can see the tiredness, Rob, but the heart that they're showing is fantastic as well. This is a veteran style. Eddie White Overton is 53 years of age. He's still, still coming forward. Swings that hook, eats a right. Povey on the back foot, and clinches. Povey's got a bad habit there of turning away. He lands a right hand there. Eddie White's going to set up a high kick any second now. Both fighters showing sheer exhaustion. They're, they're running on the heart alone here, Rob. I'm sure they're just thinking, come on, where is that bell? Where is that bell? But this is for the W for the UC MMA Welterweight Veterans title. If you want that belt, guys, you've got to earn it. It's getting scrappy now. They're both exhausted. But they're still fighting. Good knee, good knee again from Eddie. Eddie controls the head, takes it to canvas, and you just, fires away. He could take the back of Mervyn Pope if he wanted. Hammer fist. AJ Jeffrey looking very close. You get the feeling a few more shots and the ref might have called it. Now, Mervyn Pope takes top position. I don't know why Eddie White Overton didn't try and set up a rear naked choke then when he had the back of Mervyn Pobey. Mervyn Pobey could take the back of Eddie White Overton here if he turns. Eddie with a crowd behind him, Grant. Everybody in this arena shout Eddie, Eddie, and you'll see them go nuts there as he takes top position, but he's still in Poby's guard. Climbs one leg over. He could pass here. There we go. Beautiful work. Got full mount. Can he posture up and drop the bombs? He could have an armbar if he wanted it. Fires away. He could finish this fight by ground and pound. AJ Jeffrey looks on closely. He's, he's calling for defence. He's telling Poby to protect himself. I'm sure Eddie White. He's got about four or five submissions there he could set up. He just wants to finish this old He's school grant ground and pound. <laughs> yeah. Fair play. Here's the last 10 seconds of the very final round of our UCMMA veterans welterweight title. We're going to go to the judges, Rob. I'll give that last round to Eddie White Overton, but the second round. To Mervyn Povey, it all lies on that very first round. In my guard, in my eyes, it could go either way. I reckon we could be looking at another split decision, Grant. Over to the judges to find out. Check, 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 check. Okay. Listen, before we go to the judges' scorecard. I don't give a damn, stamp your feet and cheer because there are two warriors in the cage, right there. Two gentlemen, they beat each other, they hug each other. But Eddie, why do you want this sort of fight? Are you off your nuts? I'll be speaking to both guys. Grant, give us a good news. Ladies and gentlemen, after three fantastic rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. And presenting our championship belt is our sponsor, Silka Carpets. But 
by split decision. And new UCMMA veteran welterweight champion, Mervyn Pomey. Have a couple of words of any first, Ed. Come here. Ed, I don't know how you stood that. Why can't you sleep in doors with Maria watching TV? What a warrior. Your fans are going crazy. You want a better man. He's so strong. He really is. Oh, man. I ain't to talk about Listen, Eddie, I could feel it in him. Round one of Mervyn. I'm coming back for that bell. And you know what? Somebody said to quit. I'm coming back for Mervyn. Eddie, you are one warrior without a shadow of a doubt. Your fans are there. Say hello to your fans. A true warrior. Eddie, over and white. Let me go with a champ. Merv. Merv, you'll never say, do you know what? Eddie's a walker. What a warrior. He's a warrior. <laughs> Much respect to him. Much respect to Eddie. He's an honourable gentleman, a serious warrior. Right, listen, you're both warriors in there. You had nothing left, only your heart and your balls kept you both going. I just don't know what to say to Prairie, but you are a true champ. Merv, do you want to say thanks to anybody? You just want a drink, don't you? My brothers, my brother Paul, my brother Wayne, the judge quarters all day long. Everyone who comes to Johnson Hall, much thanks. Ed's the top man. Your winner, Mervyn Povey. Oh, what can I say? Ed, please. Let's have a drink upstairs. Oh, please don't want me. You need re rehydration, my friend. You're running up Eddie Oban.